In this second episode of Target Special Japan, we discover a unique amphibious search and rescue plane. The Shin Maiwa, used by the Japanese Navy, is the only aircraft in the world able to take off and set down on extremely short distances of between 280 and 330 meters at sea and tackle 3 meter swells. It can go an incredible 4,700 kilometers without refueling and remain stable at low speeds of 100 kilometers an hour. The secret is a fifth engine on the upper part of the wing. It has a turbine that generates hot air, which is injected over the wings and tail. This creates a vacuum called a control limit layer. It literally glues the plane to the sky. Tests are underway on a firefighting version. It would carry up to 15 tons of water, three times more than most. There's interest in Europe, and the plane could be produced under license in France and Germany in the coming years. This astonishing aircraft is proof that Japanese high-tech is about much more than entertainment and games. The technology has been around for 40 years, and according to official figures, it saved more than a thousand lives around Japan's territorial waters. Another cutting-edge innovation in Japanese high-tech is HAL, said to be the world's first cyber robot. This exoskeleton gives mobility to patients who've lost autonomy through strokes or other conditions. When the brain gives the order to make a move, this order goes to the extremities. We install sensors on the skin that process the signals. In fact, this robot works with human willpower. A patient with polio came here. Other hospitals could do nothing for him. They tried the robot and he managed to get up and walk. I was very touched. I strongly believe in the potential of this robot. Today, this robot is used in 170 hospitals in Japan and 60 institutions in Germany and Sweden. Its creator also hopes to enter the US market soon. In the future, the aim is to widen the scope to moving heavier loads in industry and to find new medical applications. <laughs> if we can use human will with this technology and connect this to a computer, we could treat patients suffering from serious diseases, such as Lou Gehrig's disease. So completely paralyzed patients could type on a computer with just their willpower and so be able to communicate again. This technology could help such patients. Japanese high-tech continues to develop, bringing new practical and useful solutions for Japan and the rest of the world.